right guys I'm off again quick trip to Nebraska I'm gonna refresh some trail cams with some new batteries in them I think I'm gonna move one around not getting much action on one of them and uh, I may sit just for a couple settings and see if anything comes in I really haven't been seeing much for size for bucks that have been gone coming through my trail cams but doesn't mean they're not in there so quick trip just a couple days be back and then I'm heading back out elk hunting in Colorado are helping a buddy elk hunt, not my tag. Finally got out of the blind. Uh, saw a couple bucks tonight. They're pretty far off in the cornfield. Like one looked pretty decent, the other one was kind of small. But I had a lot of deer out there in front of me in the cornfield and couldn't get out of the blind. So I had to wait till it get real dark and sneak out of there. Hopefully I didn't blow them out for tomorrow morning. Well guys, change of plans. I was supposed to head out today, go back to Colorado and help my buddy on an elk hunt. But, um, he can't go, so it looks like I get to whitetail hunt a couple more days. Could be worse. Just got settled in my blind. I feel pretty good about this set tonight. I think the uh, the bucks are starting to go into rut a little bit. They're starting to run. And um, I feel good about the position for tonight. I got a good wind. I feel good about the set. And I've got snacks. So I've got my seeds in trail mix. And some Gatorade. And an energy drink. So what more do, can a guy need? This side of the corn, they come out on this side of the corn. If I sat on this side of the corn, they come out over here. So, what I found here was a natural funnel in the trees, what kind of bottlenecks down. And uh, what I'm hoping, I'm gonna sit here all day long. What I'm hoping is that they funnel back and forth from bedding to bedding spot. And um, I catch them coming this way. So, the downside of it is I'm on the ground, I don't have any tree stands set up. So, I'm gonna have to like camo in really good, watch the wind, uh, limit movements, and be careful with my scent. Get kind of real stealthy here on the ground. It's, it's a tough thing to do to hunt whitetail on the ground, so I'm gonna have to sit here all day and hope I catch something coming through, so I'm gonna paint up.
All right, guys, I'm gonna go see if I can find the arrow. Looks like a good pass through. All right, guys, here's the arrow. There we go. All right, complete pass through. Looks like to be pretty decent blood. All right, like I said, I think the shot might have been just a little bit back and a little bit high from where I wanted it. But uh, looks like an arrow. I'm gonna keep the arrow where it was at. Mark that. Arrow's got good blood. So, God, I hope he's down. Really hope he's down. Went in a little further, found blood. Not a lot of it. Um, not really sure about the shot. I'm gonna go, I'm backing out of here. I'm gonna go back and take a look at the footage and see if I can get a better idea about the shot. And uh, I may just let it sit tomorrow morning and pick up from the trail from there that's probably the best option because if you're not 100 percent sure just let it sit till morning well okay guys back here at the hotel room i put that clip in been looking at it over and over and over again it definitely hit it high and back so um i think it's a good thing that i bounced out of there backed out and we're gonna wait till tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get in and recover that deer i really hope so i hate hate losing deer especially a nice buck like that okay guys i think it Instead of me waiting on uh, my buddies with the dogs, I think that I'm just gonna get in there and see if I can find the blood trail again and see what I can do. I just don't like this deer sitting. It's supposed to get hot today, so don't want this meat to go to waste. So I'm gonna get in on it, see what I can do. Well guys, I'm finding little bits of blood here and there, but that wind is blowing these leaves and it's looking looking tough, man. I don't know. Oh my god, yes. Yes! I just found him. I didn't think I was going to be able to. This wind is blowing so hard, blowing these leaves. I'm running out of blood. Oh. Alright, let's go walk up on it. He is. There he is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a nice four by uh, five by four. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, it's super windy out, so I'm going handheld on this thing. So, hey, Nebraska Whitetail was successful. Filled the tag, super happy. Whenever you make a shot that's questionable on a deer, you're just really happy to find it. So, super happy to find this guy and retrieve the animal. Thanks for watching, guys. Western Obsessions TV. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you like our content. I really appreciate all you guys following along. Thanks a lot.